well, Digidread on the mic coming in with a juicy announcement from Bandai because we have got the official news of what this new project is going to be. So in this video, we're going to watch what they are going to essentially showcase to us and hopefully be hyped and see that beautiful online client that we've all been begging for. So if this is a video for you as I show my reaction and stick around and enjoy. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell because I do videos on the reg. So now we're going to hit the play button and see what we cooking. Okay. The thing that we've been teased for quite a while. 2020. We're really a long way, guys. Long way. Love making content for this game. 2024, what good. What good. Shoot! Look at this! Okay. Green and yellow. We like to see it. And pretty much we all, we all anticipated that it was Digimon Liberator. Our game adventure begins. Okay, okay, give me the source. That's a weird way of spelling on my client. It looks pretty. Does look fire. I mean, let's just let's just click back to the just the just that snapshot there. You know, let's see the let's see the main character, the the, the pro tag, green main. Interesting. Definitely an interesting take here, and I must admit, his drip be on form. I'm like, loving the coordination. He's rocking some sweet J's, which I completely agree with. Got some dye in the hair, looking on fleek. This is this team partnership going on is, is all working, all color coordinated. Um, I, I just like the fit. The fit is nice. It, it almost looks like he's fresh out of Naruto, to be honest. I'm like, <laughs> man's come out of the Leaf Village. Um, the, the actual starter looks pretty cool as well. I'm like, definitely unique design. Colour scheme on point. I'm wondering if it's probably going to go humanoid at some point. But I think it would probably lean more towards like the beast traits uh, right there. And there's obviously, this is going to be the first time we can have a bit more of a green focus... Um, Pro tag because naturally it just kind of all leans to red, red and blue. Where now it's kind of going into green and yellow, which is quite an interesting, interesting take right there. So let's just kind of have a look at this screen here because I mean, we've got a quite an interesting cast of characters <laughs> into the mix, which does reveal quite a lot. Um, obviously, we've got the girl there who seems like the female pro tag, which I'm not gonna lie, she looks fresh out of Pokemon. I'm like. <laughs> Looks like it looks like the, the 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 pro tag out of the new Pokemon series, um, no no doubt. Like she, I don't know, she just looks a bit beige, um, if I'm all honest. But I've not really seen the full uh, full get up. She could be dripped out of standard, but I mean she's got her partner's looking pretty cool. I mean partner's sitting in some sweet Timberlands, which is all right. Um, looks quirky enough. Not really showing me what the power is going on behind that Digimon versus like the start of there. Uh, for the green pro tag, I mean, he's got wind. Let's just, let's just say that he's got wind. Hopefully not trap wind, but he's got wind up in there. Um, having a look at some of the others, obviously we can see Son of Rizamon chilling in the, uh, the the kind of top right a little bit, uh, which is quite interesting. It'd be interesting to see with the Evo line because we've not really had much of a Son of Rizamon focus, so that's kind of going to be pretty sick. we got Riku motherfucker looking chilling, <laughs> looking nice with their shades. I must admit, looking pretty, pretty nice. It's definitely got something going on there. Uh, we do have the uh, Omakomon. I think the name is. I probably butchered it. The one that's kind of like the main Royal Knight support uh, mon there, which would be quite interesting to see what that Digimon is going to be doing. Um, then we got also a kind of bit of a shady character there. Uh, with the red eyes and the, the also with the red tints like the main character, which is a quite interesting take. Can't remember what that pink um, Digimon with the yellow eyes. I know it's a sea beast one. Something to do with like It's like a coral kind of Digimon. I can't remember the name for the freaking life of me. Uh, also, we do have the... Um, oh, what's that? What's the ghost one called? <sighs> Don't play purple often. Um, so, yeah, the characters look interesting. I can't... I'm trying to think if that's Venmon. At the bottom left, I think that is Venmon. Um, so we could see Galactamon um, in, in this. Very interesting kind of plethora of Digimon to, uh, to, to explore. But I definitely do like the two new starters looking quite interesting. And despite it not being a... 
let's just let's get to the key bit of information despite not being obviously the online client uh, it is a web comic and seekers has done pretty well in terms of the storyline that it's doing and how it's transferred over into the card game we can't deny that that has actually been pretty pretty sick in terms of how that's um how that's kind of gone through, supported certain archetypes, and really got its own identity. I mean, we've got Ferrolugmon, that actually is really quite a cool, cool Digimon. Obviously, that's going to get more support in BT, or well, maybe EX, EX6 or BT17. Um, obviously, with the Kazuchimon kind of fusion, um, and then obviously we do have like the support from the um, Ryudum online. Obviously, we have the Durum online. Which also just kind of give it a bit of flavor and just make it a bit more of a unique play style. So I don't mind uh, Bandai cra like creating new stories in order to kind of fuel the the card game and you know give that a, a breath of life. Because realistically, like if it's not generating anything new, then we just kind of get in recycled Digimon at that point, uh, doing slightly different things, might just recolor it, like the Garudamon Green version, which has got re recolored um outside of the red kind of line which i, I just feel like it's just a bit weird <laughs> and if you're gonna kind of like if bandai are gonna create that kind of like new garudamon line or just that garudamon there needs is other support not just kind of splash it in because it's gonna be a completely different um like trait in that sense so it's not gonna synergize well uh versus cr creating new digimon and new focuses and new archetypes does just work a lot better um for for the game so yeah unfortunately no online clients but a web comic can be quite cool hopefully nicely easily accessible it's going to be a comic about the game um so that should be uh that should be interesting um quite cool to watch i'm watching a game that i well watching the story unfold of a game that i also play so it's almost like inception <laughs> in that sense hopefully they don't make any rookie moves maybe they might actually get cards that not, don't need a rotten but um but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be quite interesting to see what how that's gonna transfer um just looking at the overall let's see let's see here so i think this is quite a good screen to kind of look at so this really just kind of detail out like you know what we're going to be seeing here tamer wise green and yellow that's the main premise are we going to get any dual colors we don't know at this point um if there was going to do any form of dual colors i think like try to time with like the wind and well, see the wind green kind of theme i think like realistically you know maybe splash a bit of blue in there green blue i don't think that's a i don't think that's an actual like color combination that we've seen that much of definitely correct me if i'm wrong there and it's quite nice that we are getting a bit of a yellow um kind of main well I want to say main protagonist. Let's, let's just call these both the main protagonists. Um, it's quite nice to get the kind of a bit of a main yellow one in there, and it'd be interesting to see if this uh, this yellow type is going to be a vaccine. Is it going to be data? Uh, if it were a vaccine, there's already support there that can kind of fuel the strategy. So it doesn't mean that we're going to be waiting like shuffling three sets in order to get the <laughs> to be able to use the deck. We can obviously mesh it in uh, there. Um, quite good to see if. The, this actual green line is going to have its own kind of strategy in terms of what it's doing because at the moment realistically green have only got blue blood as an actual like consistent competitive deck in that sense we did have we, we did have grand quag that got freaking restricted so that's obviously got that that boy's uh, wings clipped um, but you know if it did get unrestricted then grand quagamon is a once again a competitive competitive viable strategy but it's quite interesting to see if we just get a nice cool strategy which is actually going to like give you enough payoff in order for you to commit to it because that's the issue with green at the moment it's just like i feel like there's, there's not enough payoff in order for you to go for, for you to actually main a green deck at the moment um compared to these other decks that just kind of do their payoff so easy um it's almost like you're on autopilot so very interesting to see the direction that they're going here the designs of them pretty sick i do like designs of the especially the green one thing that's gonna look cool i think if they kind of keep to the more the beast direction that'd be quite nice i think we've got quite a few humanoid um, digimon uh already i think we can kind of just like you know <laughs> just kind of like really explore the beast nature of 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 what this green line could go into i'm I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this uh, yellow Digimon's going to go to, but that's, <laughs> that is definitely going to be something to be explored right there. But, you know, sometimes they start off ugly and then they suddenly go and glow up. That's usually the take of uh, some, of these, uh, some of these Digimon. 
uh, right there. But yeah, very interesting take. Look pretty cool. Look like they're partnering arms, which is which is which is quite refreshing. And yeah, I can't I can't really knock the designs. The artists always knock it out of the park. Always bring always just really flesh out the um like transfer a so much emotion in uh, some of these cards this is why this is why i really do love the game <laughs> it's because the artwork does carry uh it a long way but but yeah that is uh that is what this uh what this game is bringing oh the update which we're gonna get another update in January 2024, so pretty much next year. But guys, tell me what you think. Is this what you was expecting? To be honest, I kept my expectations low. I took it so well. I was like, don't really think we were going to get an online client, in all honesty, because I think they want to kind of keep the game at that place where it, they, they don't want to put it through a simulator. I, I feel like maybe having a, like, a simulator for like, Online, not online tools, but official tools might be a good idea. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really know. Uh, I do think an online simulator is good, but I can see where they're like, okay, we don't want to kill off our own game by people not buying products. Because um, it will happen. I don't think it's at a renowned stage where it can have an online client and still continue sales. Because <laughs> naturally, we will just gravitate to the online client uh, there. Uh, but for me, I personally like the authenticness of holding cards, playing cards, interacting with people, and so forth, um, versus online client. But th and that's coming from a person who used to enjoy online clients, <laughs> in, in all honesty. But yeah, uh, very interesting way and direction that they're going. But if it's got a cool story, I'm down. I'm down. And if they transfer those Digimon over into the card game, I'm also down. But drop in the comments what you think. Is this what you're expecting? If you enjoyed the video, smash it with a like as standard, and I will catch you in the next one. That's your boy D Dread, off the mic.